Hey guys, what's going on? It's Vic here back with another Madden 23 video. In today's episode, per request, you guys asked for me to rebuild the Cincinnati Bengals with a new edition of Miles Murphy. And if, let's see if we could try to hit the like goal today of 40 likes. I would really appreciate it. It really helps boost the channel and the video. And our subscribers have been going up significantly because my videos have reached more people because of the likes. So I do thank you guys for that. But this is the team that we got here, and I think picking Miles Murphy at the end of the first round was a good value pick. I personally think that picking best player available is better than picking position of need. It doesn't matter if you need certain positions. If there is a stud on the board, you take the stud. Like for the Patriots taking Christian Gonzalez all the way at 17. That was definitely a position of need, but what a pick, dude. He fell all the way to 17. That was a perfect example of it. Getting great value with Miles Murphy as well. I think Miles Murphy could have gone to the Ravens at 22 me being a Ravens fan don't dislike the video sorry guys uh, I admit the Bengals run the division sorry but anyways this is what we got for the team Joe Burr I would say he's the number two quarterback in the league Patrick Mahomes above him considering he just won a league MVP nobody can really debate that Joe Mixon don't mess with him you step he steps outside and sees you playing and having fun he doesn't allow it he pulls out the Glock and goes hey stop that Jamar Chase, he needs to be an X factor. Like, I don't know why this was a debate. Pretty sure EA made him like an 88 overall superstar at the beginning of the year. Extremely disrespectful. He was a top five receiver last year, in my opinion. Dude was crazy. This year he had injury, so you can debate it. I still think he's crazy. Easily a top 10 receiver, in my opinion. Uh, T. Higgins, great. And even Joe Burrow said he's willing to take a pay cut to keep Chase and T. Higgins. That was my big concern with Joe Burrow's contract. I was like, dude, you're going to lose Chase or Higgins if you're going to do that contract. But I'm glad they kept him. Honestly, T. Higgins deserves superstar, but since I already gave Jamar Chase X Factor, I'm going to leave that where it is. Uh, Irv Smith, I thought was a good signing since they did lose their tight end, Hayden Hurst. And Hayden Hurst is a good player. I will admit that for as a Ravens fan, I don't think it was worth a first round pick picking up a 25 year old tight end in the first round. It's crazy, but hey, we got Lamar Jackson that draft too, so I'm cool with it. Uh, o line, a lot of people don't realize that this a, a lot of this O line was entirely injured during that conference championship game against the Chiefs, and people will still blame the O line. Alex Kappa and Lael Collins are not bad players. Orlando Brown, on the other hand, I will say as a Ravens fan, he is very picky. He is a very picky person. He wants a very specific contract. You guys paid him a lot of money, and I don't get me wrong, you need your franchise left tackle, but. Orlando Brown, I understand he went to the Pro Bowl. He's not that worth, worth that much money, in my opinion. He's he's like a solid left tackle. He's not good. He's solid. He's better than Jonah Williams because Jonah Williams will not develop. I'll probably trade away Jonah Williams. He's just injury prone all the time. He could have done something, but unfortunately, I won't be able to do anything with him. Defensively, though, looking a lot better. They got Jordan Battle in the draft as well. Dax Hill. And who was their other pick? A second rounder, DJ Turner. Yeah, I believe he ran the fastest 40 at the compound. Was it like a 4.27 or like a 4.29? It was crazy fast. I might be wrong in that. Miles Murphy, of course. Uh, why does Trey Hendrickson only have normal dev? Is that a glitch? No, I'm fixing this. How are you an 88 overall? 88 overall with normal dev? I don't. People can cry in the comments if they want to. Doesn't make any sense why Trey Hendrickson wouldn't have star dev. Uh, Miles Murphy, I'm going to start over Sam Hubbard. A lot of people may not like this. Sam Hubbard's 27. He's going to start regression next season. I highly doubt Sam Hubbard will even make it to like an 82 overall. But while on the other hand, we can develop Miles Murphy. That's just my opinion. Logan Wilson, extremely underrated linebacker. Uh, Dax Hill, hopefully he pans out. Jordan Battle is also a great pick in the third round. Uh, DJ Turner is going to be my slot as well. Miles Murphy, why is he a rush defensive tackle, dude? I, I don't want that. That is kind of annoying. We're going to move him above um, Sam Hubbard at rush left end so he can potentially get rookie of the year. Here we are at the midseason mark as we are 6-1 and one top of the division. I'm not going to do this next man up crap. It's always just a waste of time. But let's see what we got here. I want to do... Do I do interior offensive line? I feel like I can draft it pretty well. I'm going to go linebacker here. I know some people may not like that, but... Me personally, I want to go linebacker. I feel like I can get linemen at almost any point in like the second or third round in Madden. Not in real life though, obviously. Keeping auto-generated rookies because it's way too early to tell in the draft as always. And also I got a new mic if you guys can't tell. It's a little bit less echoey, but it's uh, it's better in my opinion. I want to re-sign Irv Smith. I don't know if I will be able to, especially with the upcoming contracts. Uh, I don't want to pay him that much. 
I'm going to have to see with the other contracts. For right now, I will have to let him go since he doesn't want to be here. I'm going to give him his neutral deal. I'll do five years on it to spread it out too. He doesn't want to stay with the team. That's fine. We're a winning team because in real life, Burrow's taking a pay cut. But in Madden, that's it's a little bit different of a story. So anyways, let's move to the playoffs. And here we are in the playoffs, 15 and two, top of the division is crazy after year one. I mean, we do have Joe Burr, great receiving core. Oh, that's gotta be MVP, show it to me. League MVP is Joe Burr, not gonna really be much of a rebuild, probably jinx myself. Best offense in the NFL and the fourth best defense, crazy good year. 4,000 yards, 52 touchdowns, 11 interceptions, 119 pass rating. Nothing other to say other than your MVP. Joe Mixon, 14 touchdowns, 5.1 per carry, 1,600 yards. He Not only did he bring the Glock in the neighborhood to gun down the little kids having fun, he brought it to the field. Man, he's doing good. T. Higgins, 1,100 yards. Jamar Chase, 1,100 yards. Irv Smith, 1,100 yards and 108 receptions. Tyler Boyd, 1,000 yards with nine touchdowns. 14 touchdowns for Irv Smith, 11 for Jamar Chase, 11 for T. Higgins. Amazing ball distribution, by the way. I accidentally backed out of that. Let me go to defense. Logan Wilson, 102 tackles. Tackles for a loss, 20 for DJ Reader. Sacks, 11 and a half for Trey Hendrickson. In receptions, four for Jermaine Pratt. He's doing pretty good. Underrated, too. One safety for DJ Reader and zero defensive of touchdowns but let's see what we got for the divisional round hopefully we can just sweep year one that would be very nice um las vegas raiders were definitely better than them 10 and 7 still a chance we can lose as always in the first year don't expect it but hey here we are in the conference championship since it's year one i'm not even gonna bother jumping into it i'll jump into it if we make it to the super bowl but not even gonna bother him we lose to aaron Rodgers and the jets let's move into the offseason and Aaron Rodgers gets himself probably his final ring of his career as he wins the Super Bowl MVP, blowing out the Niners. This is a realistic Super Bowl year. Niners and Jets, I can see that. Joe Burrow wins the league MVP. Zach Taylor wins coach of the year. No other awards here for the Cincinnati Bengals. Still, two great awards for the team. Hopefully, there's a lot of upgrades, especially for our younger players. What do we have? Joe Mixon bringing out the Glock to the field and to the team, giving him an X factor. Irv Smith gets superstar. Might have to sign him and overpay him. Hopefully he wants to be here now that we're successful. I definitely need to trade away Jonah Williams at some point. Um, Akeem, Gathis, uh, Akeem Davis Gavier is how you pronounce it, I think. Gets start of, which is great to see. Jermaine Pratt, how old are you? You're 27. It's not bad, but I don't want to keep you forever. Uh, Chidabe Awuzie, I believe is how you pronounce that, gets superstar dev. DJ Turner doesn't get anything. Miles Murphy stays the same, unfortunately. Jordan Battle has star dev, which I already knew. But anyways, let's move into the resign players. In the AFC North, nobody retires. I don't think I'm going to be participating in free agency because I definitely still need to pay Joe Burrow, T. Higgins, and Jamar Chase. Irv Smith has superstar dev now, so I think I will be willing to overpay for this. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, I, I will have to overpay for that. I still want him on the team. 108 receptions and 14 touchdowns. I can't pass that up. Anyways, it's now time to move in to the draft. In the first round, I'm picking up right outside linebacker Quentin Richards out of Kansas State. Normal dev, unfortunately. I am going to move him to inside linebacker. He's got good athleticism, 6'2", 243, B awareness, A pursuit, B catching. He's, he seems pretty good for the back end first round, but I guess not. In the second round, I'm picking up left guard Keenan Wade out of USC. 6'5", 320, hidden dev, 92 strength. A's across the board and some C's, but he looks great. He's going to be our replacement at left guard. This is the team after the draft. Joe Burrow's already a 99, which is crazy. Wade is a 74, so that seems to be a good pick. I'm straight up just going to trade Jonah Williams. There's no point in keeping him anymore. We got to move on. Who wants their franchise left tackle who's going to get injured every game? It seems like the commanders do. Commanders always want guys, but apparently he has mild interest. Who has high interest? The Niners have Trent Williams. Jaguars have Cam Robinson. Jets would make sense. Give me your second round pick for Jonah Williams. That's fine. Yeah, they still think they can develop him. So second round pick is fine. I don't think he'll go for that in real life, but maybe like a three and a five. But what's done is done. This is what we got for the O-line. Wayne, I picked up in the third round, only a 70 overall. How old is Carson's? Ted Carson's 30. Yikes. I'm going to have to replace that probably. Defensively, my right outside linebacker Richards is a good overall, but unfortunately, normal dev is the real killer here. Still going to start Jermaine Pratt just because of this dude. If he had star development or better, I would start this guy, but he doesn't. Richards is a 74 overall, so unfortunately, he's going to have to be depth, which really sucks. 
for a first round pick just to end up as a depth guy but it's really not that bad. I mean, our linebacking core, Logan Wilson, Jermaine Pratt, Akeem uh, davis Gathier is pretty good. DJ Turner is going to start at the slot. He's going to move to the three as well. And yeah, team looks great. Miles Murphy, I'm going to move up. Please tell me I can move him up from here. God dang it, bro. I don't want Sam Hubbard starting. I kind of want to get rid of Sam Hubbard. Here we are at the midseason mark. Once again, 6-1 and one top of the division. But this time, the rest of the division is very highly contested. All Everyone in the division has a winning record, which is very scary, but can definitely happen in real life. But let's see what we got. What do I want? I really don't need much. BJ, not BJ Ojolari, BJ Hill is kind of getting old, I would say. I don't I don't know his age if I'm being if I'm being real here. I'm still going to do defensive tackle. Maybe more depth out there would help, I guess. This team is so stacked. It's easily a Super Bowl team. I know that as a Ravens fan, but I don't know what else I should quote unquote rebuild with it. Joe Burrow, he wants he wants to be with the team. Can I seriously get him for a team-friendly contract? I know it'd be realistic in real life because he wants to have one, but in Madden, it's a different story. Don't try to exploit is what he said. Really? He's going to do that to me? Five-year deal, T. Higgins. No long-term commitment. No, dude, what? <laughs> Five years is not long-term to you? DJ Reader. I'm going to wait till the end of the season for this to go down. Chidabe. I want this. I want him on our team. I want player-friendly. He's going to re-sign. DJ Reader. Logan Wilson is a guy I want back to. Do I just... I'm just going to do regular friendly five-year deal to spread out the contract a little bit more. He's going to re-sign. I can't re-sign Tyler Boyd. He's 28, going to be regressing. How much does he want a year? I can't pay you $12 million a year, bro. Akeem davis Gavier, I do want as well, but he doesn't want to be here. I don't know who this guy is. I kind of want to re-sign him since he has started out as a punter, but I'm going to simulate to the next week and make sure that we get... Yeah, I'm going to make sure that we get Joe Burrow because I don't want his interest to go down and then I have to pay him a shit ton more. That would be my worst fear. As we beat the Browns, that's nice. So we hold the division. And uh, we're going to do just neutral deal with you. Take this Joe Burrow. He re-signs on it. Thank you. 2.3 million left. Can I sign T. Higgins at all? He said no long-term commitment, no deal. So here's a five-year player friendly. Let's lower the salary a little bit. Let's do that. He resigns on that, but I only have 50k. So yeah, it, it was a good move scouting national focus for defensive tackle because I have no money left, which sucks because in reality I would be able to do it. But uh, hopefully I'm gonna have to sign Jamar Chase's fifth year option. But let's move in it to the playoffs. Here we are in the playoffs once again, 15 and two, top of the division, but no first round buy is crazy. Did the Chiefs take it from us? The Raiders? Oh no way is Jimmy G popping out like that. Okay, we're here to face the 11-6 and six Ravens who are second in the division. And Joe Burrow, another amazing season MVP. Yes, sir. Back to back. Second best offense in the NFL and defensively seventh. Still a little bit worse than last year, but still amazing. 4,800 yards, 51 touchdowns with the less interceptions. I would say it's a better season. Same pass rating as last year. Joe Mixon, 12 touchdowns, 5.1 per carry, 600 yards. Like I think this was the same stats, but like two touchdowns less. Jamar Chase, 1,100 yards, 12 touchdowns. Tyler Boyd had an amazing season, but I can't re-sign him, unfortunately. T. Higgins, 12 touchdowns, 1,000 yards. Irv Smith took a step back after paying him a buttload of money. Defensively, Logan Wilson, 112 tackles. Tackles for a loss, 17 for DJ Reader. Sacks, 16 and a half for Trey Hendrickson. Miles Murphy in his second season gets double-digit sacks. That's what I want to see. I'm probably going to have to cut Sam Hubbard. Yeah, see, see how depth does nothing in Madden? I'm just probably going to have to cut Sam Hubbard because I can't afford to pay him. Cam Taylor-Britt with four interceptions. He could get star dev with that. That's nice for our DBs. One safety for Trey Hendrickson and one defensive touchdown for Dax Hill. Let's see what we got here against the Baltimore Ravens. We could lose this one still, but I feel like we definitely are going to win it. Uh, no, never mind. Okay, I'll hold my tongue. 35 to 21 after having back-to-back -back MVP seasons. Let's move into the offseason. The Cardinals beat the Broncos in the Super Bowl? No way. They are both in heavy rebuilds right now, especially after that Russell Wilson trade by the Broncos. Cream Hunt on the Cardinals wins the Super Bowl MVP. Joe Burrow, back-to-back -back league MVPs. Zach Taylor, back-to-back -back coach of the year. Josh Jacobs is what carried the Raiders to that record. And QB, rookie QB, Philip Hawkins is apparently balling out. Let's see what we have. 
for the team upgrades. Hopefully, Miles Murphy gets superstar. That would be crazy. We have Wade with star dev. That's nice. Tyler Boyd doesn't get superstar. Neither does T. Higgins. That's crazy that T. Higgins didn't get anything. But um, Richards gets nothing, but of course he's tapped. Really, Murphy gets nothing as well. Cam Taylor Brick gets nothing after having a good season. Unfortunate. Whatever, let's move into the re-signings. In the AFC North, Cam Hayward retires. That's great for us. Let's see the players ready to negotiate. 29 million, surprisingly. DJ Reader did go down in overall, so I'm going to sign him to a two mil, not two million, a two-year deal. Tyler Boyd, as great as a season as you had, I can just get a receiver to replace you. I already have a superstar tight end. I already have an X-Factor receiver. T. Higgins is great. I already have three weapons that can already replace you. I don't need you. Akeem Davis, this really isn't that bad of a contract. I'll sign him on that, but he, he doesn't want to come back. Okay, he's gone. Brad Robbins, the punter. Sure, I'll give you a five-year deal. I know I should be saving money, but sure, he's a punter that has start ev and just happened to be on our team. Why not? Yeah, but other than that, I'm going to accept Jamar Chase's fifth-year deal here, and then let's get to the draft. In the first round, I'm picking up my new middle linebacker, probably to replace my left outside linebacker, Adam Drew out of Alabama, 91 speed, 88 acceleration, 5'11", 225 though, built kind of like a bowling ball, hidden dev, he has A hit power, B tackle, he had D's there, but he was very good athlete, so that's why I picked him. And in the second round, I'm picking up wide receiver Johnny Hopkins to replace Tyler Board, our new slot guy, 97 speed, 94 acceleration, 5'11", 182 out of Auburn, a hidden dev, A deep route, F catching, but B catching traffic, B release, B spec catch is what I'm looking at, and the elite speed. And in the third round, I'm picking up our new center, Jared Pat Peterson out of Florida State, 88 strength, 80 jumping at being 306 is crazy, 82 acceleration, hidden dev, good run blocking skills, he's our new center. And in the fourth round, I'm picking up defensive tackle Marquise Potter out of Ohio State. He had A finesse moves, Fs across the board, but hidden dev, 85 strength, Fs across the board, but A finesse in the third round, I thought that was good enough, and it seems to be. Here we are moving into the third season. Peterson is a 73 overall. Hopkins is a 74. Great picks there. Offense is easily complete here. Defensively, I gotta, gotta get rid of Sam Hubbard. Potter is a 65. That's fine. Drew is gonna be the starter, and I think Jermaine Pratt is gonna have to go. Richards, Richards, I'm gonna move to left outside line. Actually, I'm gonna move... Pratt may have to go just because he's regressing now. I have to pay him. He's not even the starting sub linebacker. I don't know. Maybe he'll still have Pratt here. What is his cap hit is the question. Drew moves down to a 70 overall, so not really that great of a first round pick, but not bad either. Contract, he has one year left for three million. That's not bad. I'll take him. But uh, Sam Hubbard is 100% going to go. I cannot afford him. I cannot keep him on the team. He does virtually, yeah, I'm not paying you 11 million a year to sit on the bench and give me 1.5 sacks a season while we have Miles Murphy starting over you. And you're just gonna continue to regress. Who wants Sam Hubbard? The Chargers want him, the Chiefs want him. I don't wanna make the Chiefs more overpowered. Eagles don't wanna make overpowered. Come on, who wants, has high interest and isn't that good? Don't wanna make the Jets. I'm gonna give it to the Packers. I feel like a third and a seven is fair for Sam Hubbard. And he is off to the Packers for three to seven. Probably could have gotten a second for him, but I'm just trying to keep it realistic. Hopkins going to be my new slot guy, and I don't have to pay him. So that's the great thing. And Carson's or Karras, Ted Karras or whatever. I, I want to cut him. Yeah. I'll say five million after the penalty. Here we are at the midseason mark as we are five and two. Once again, top the division slightly got worse than last season instead of being six and one. But the five and two Raiders, the ballers of the Raiders are here. Um... I don't know. <laughs> Just like last season, I don't know. Don't need depth DB. I guess depth linebacker. More and more depth because I don't know if I'm going to be able to re-sign Jermaine Pratt. So anyways, let's see what we got for the players ready to negotiate. As we have Joe Mixon. Definitely need him here. Want him player friendly. Bring the link down. What? <laughs> okay. I guess he doesn't like commitment. Just like your girlfriend. Trey Hendrickson resigns on a very player-friendly deal and needed to give it to him. We have a superstar kicker. I have the full intention of keeping him. I can find a better fit in free agency. Fuck off, Evan McPherson. Just shut up, dude. I can find a better fit. Then go find one. Go find one, bro. 
Not considering at the moment you, you, with your nerd glasses. Shut up. I mean, I wear glasses, so I can't really say anything. Uh, Layla Collins is going to regress. I want to wait on this. Mike Hilton, I kind of want to keep his depth. Where Where is Mike Hilton, by the way? Am I stupid? Did I just not notice him the entire time on the right side? The DB, the DB2. Where is he at? Oh, he's there. I just never, never noticed him. Okay, I never acknowledged him once. I... I don't know why, I just forgot about him. But he's not a bad DB for sure. I kind of want to re-sign him. BJ Hill. Wow, I'm losing a lot of players that I would like his depth, honestly. Which is unfortunate. But anyways, it's now time to move in to the playoffs. And here we are in the playoffs. 10-7, top of the division. Really not doing that well anymore. But we're 7 overalls higher than Titans, yet we're 1 loss more than them. I don't understand that. Joe Burrow, uh, still an amazing season. It's not going to be MVP, but it's still good as he places... Okay, eighth for it. Still great season. 14th best of offense. How, bro? We lost Tyler Boyd and things go to shit. How? 24th defense? What are you smoking? Joe Burrow is suddenly an interception machine. 104 pass rating. Joe Mixon put away his Glock. 4.2 per carry. Still solid. Johnny Hopkins, rookie year is amazing. 1,300 yards, 12 touchdowns. That deserves superstar as a rookie. And T. Higgins with a great season as well still. And Adam Drew, 140 tackles as a rookie, deserves superstar. 18 tackles for a loss for Miles Murphy is great. Sacks, 15 for Trey Hendrickson, 6.5 only for Miles Murphy. Three interceptions for Logan Wilson, safeties at one for DJ Reader, run for BJ Hill. Zero defensive touchdowns. I feel like this has to be the year we win it, dude. We're losing a lot of players after this. Please beat the Titans and go to the divisional round. Let's see what we got. Here to face the Las Vegas Raiders, who are 12-5. and five. Please, please don't let me lose to this new rookie quarterback bullcrap. <sighs> rookie quarterbacks are just overpowered, man. Look at my team ranks. Why is it like that? We, I lost Sam Hubbard and things just go to shit. <laughs> what? Let's just move into the offseason. And the Raiders beat the Giants in the Super Bowl. Dak Prescott wins the league MVP. Josh Jacobs wins the Super Bowl MVP. No awards here for the Bengals for the first time in this rebuild, which is unfortunate. I can't believe we're going into the final season without even a conference championship win. It's so lame. Um, Hopkins gets superstar dev. That's great to see. A media replacement for Tyler Boyd because Tyler Boyd is probably already an 82 and I would have had to pay him. Miles Murphy goes up to superstar. Mike Hilton goes up to superstar. Drew, did he come with X Factor or did he give him X Factor? They gave him X Factor from superstar to X Factor. What a pick. Unfortunately, he's only a 74 right now. I really want to resign Jermaine Pratt and BJ Hill. Need them as depth. God, this final year is going to be tough to manage. Let's move into the resignings. In the AFC North, nobody retires, as always. Players ready to negotiate. Let's see what we have. Joe Mixon. He said, oh, no long-term commitment, no deal. Just take a higher bonus, dude. Resigned. Okay. McPherson, I guess I'm going to have to give you player-friendly because I want to maintain this team the best I possibly can. Orlando Brown, I'm not considering it at the moment. Blow it up your ass, dude. Here's player-friendly money. You greedy. What? I think free agency will last. Dude, shove it up yours, bro. I think free agency will last me in the long run. See, Lael Collins has a brain. You see, this is what I was talking about when Orlando Brown was money hungry. It has nothing to do with Madden, but uh, Mike Hilton, just going to get player friendly. I want him to stay for the final season. There's only one more season left. BJ Hill, exact same thing. He's going to resign. Jermaine Pratt, I want him back to. Let's increase the bonus to. I just signed that just so that way he would stay. Osai can walk. All these other guys can walk. I didn't know we had Tyler Huntley. I'm going to tag Orlando Brown because I need my left tackle as much as I hate on him. Let's move in into the draft. First round, I'm selecting another defensive tackle so that way I can just have more depth there. Don't really need anything else. Defensive tackle Montel Baber. Not Barber. Out of USC. 6'3", 305, 94 strength, 81 acceleration. 94 strength as a rookie is amazing. Hidden dev, A tackle, B block shooting, B play rack. He looks great. Now, this is the team moving into the fourth and final season. I have no idea why we haven't just won the Super Bowl yet. It's kind of stupid, but team looks great, dude. I'm glad that the AI automatically knew to draft the replacement of Orlando Brown. They're like, hell no, we're not paying your greedy ass. Uh, looks like the AI picked up that guy. Baber is a 76 overall. What a pick. He looked great. Jordan Battle only got up to a 79. Same thing with DJ Turner. But Miles Murphy got superstar dev. He's only up to an 82 because it's stupid, the progression system in Madden. But anyways, let's move into the fourth and final season and the playoffs. 
Here we are in the playoffs, 15 and two once again, top of the division. How is our defensive rush game 23rd? I drafted a stud defensive tackle, DJ Reader and BJ Hill aren't bad. It makes no sense. Thank you, EA, for this this game you produce every year. Joe Burrow, 29 touchdowns. What are you smoking? Second best offense, 11th best defense. Why? Why only 29? I mean, it's not bad in real life. This is obviously a good season, but in Madden, 29 touchdowns isn't shit. We've seen it in previous simulations where he put up 51 touchdowns. This is why. 2,000 yard club. 6.4 average, 33 touchdowns is the best season I've ever seen from a running back. He he didn't whip out the Glock on those kids. He whipped out the AR, bro. He was like, rah, ta, 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 ta. he was like, peace, quiet, no kids yelling and screaming in my neighborhood and on the field. He probably like stabbed people once he got tackled, bro. Oh my God. The death threats must have been crazy. Johnny Hopkins. What a name, by the way. 1,200 yards, 12 touchdowns. Really? Wow, he's working, T against Jamar Chase. Jamar Chase hasn't been shit since Tyler Boyd left. Defensively, Logan Wilson, 110 tackles, 118, my bad, is what I meant to say. Tackles for a loss, 15 for Trey Hendrickson. Sacks, 21 for Trey Hendrickson is great. Adam Drew is now an edge rusher at eight, uh, at eight and a half. DJ Reader, eight. Miles Murphy, five only. Three interceptions for Cam Taylor, Britt. Safeties, zero defensive touchdowns, zero. Unfortunately, out of four seasons, Miles Murphy only has one barely double digit sack season with 10 and a half sacks. But let's see what we're going to be facing in the divisional round. I'm obviously going to hop into this because we haven't made the Super Bowl yet. So I want to play this and make sure that we do win. So, anyways, let's move into it. Here we are against the Indianapolis Colts. 7 0 start, but we strike back 7 7. We respond again, 14-7. Yeah, just give it to Joe Mixon. That's all, 33 touchdowns in a season, unheard of. 17-14, what do we do? Stop passing the ball. We're going to start, you know, running the ball with the guy who does things. 14-28, to 21-28, just hold on to the ball with the AR man. There you go. 21-28 to 28 is we're going to be moving on to the conference championship. Here we are in the conference championship here to face the Baltimore Ravens as they are 12 and 5. I don't, yeah, we're not going to lose this time. We lost time in the last time in the wild card. Definitely need to win this to go to the Super Bowl, obviously. So let's move into it. Here we are in sunny Cincinnati, only in Ohio. 7 0 start for the Bengals, 14 0 start for the Bengals. Ravens finally responding, only three points. Still a two score lead. We make it a three score lead. Come on. There we go. 10-21 for the Ravens. 10-24. 31-10. That's wraps. I don't care what they do. It's game. Yeah, we pour it on even more just to shove it in their face. 38-17 as we're going to the Super Bowl. Here we are in the Super Bowl here to face the 11-6 San Francisco 49ers. Definitely a formidable opponent. What do we have here offensively? Any upgrades? Really? Hopkins still doesn't get X-Factor. He's still had a great season this year. That's unfortunate. O-line's looking great. Glock boy. I mean, AR boy. Whatever you want to call him as 99 overall. And Joe Burrow is so overpowered that he has three experience points that he can't use. Jamar Chase is 99 as well. Defensively, Drew obviously is already an X-Factor. Baber. I, don't, I just want to see what his development is. I just, I, just We haven't been only 55 snaps? What? This is a terrible rotation. What's, uh, what's his dev? Star. Okay, that's fine. I don't really care. Uh, I did care considering I checked it. But, um... Yeah, no other upgrades. Team is fine. Pretty sure we can get any, any upgrade at all. But let's see if we can cap this rebuild off with a Super Bowl win. Here we are in Atlanta for the Super Bowl. As, dang, they had to fly really far for this. And the Niners, they had to go from West Coast to East Coast. Anyways, 10-7. 10-14. Uh, Come on. 10-17. 17-17. Just give Joe Mixon the ball. What are you doing? Give Joe Mixon. Okay, they passed it into the end zone. Give, yeah, just give him the ball. Let's go. Okay. 24-220 as the Niners fans are once again disappointed as they always come up short just like their um, downstairs region. But uh, yeah, anyways, guys, apart from that, I thank you guys all for watching. That is going to be it for this video as this was definitely a successful rebuild. Pretty easy considering that uh, we have Joe Burrow as their quarterback and the Bengals are already a Super Bowl contender. But I wasn't able to get it done until season four because I got screwed over by the Jets and the Ravens, which can happen in the real life. I can see that. But who is your Super Bowl MVP? It is going to be Joe Burrow. Zach Taylor wins coach of the year again. Joe Mixon wins offensive player of the year. He should have won MVP, dude. Trey Hendrickson wins defensive player of the year. Matter of fact, I want to see this. Like, why did he not win league MVP? Was he second? Why was he fourth, bro? <laughs> he broke so many records. Season. Rushing yards. He's in the 2000 club. Derrick Henry. Joe Mixon was right behind Derrick Henry in 2025 
went crazy. Yeah, he was yeah, he was just going crazy. OJ Simpson, what a man, dude. What a man. He was he's a woman respecter. But uh yeah, he's in 2000 club rushing touchdowns. He holds the all-time record over Ladanian Tomlinson. You're not going to give him league MVP. I don't care how good Jalen Hurts was that season. Come on. Anyways, apart from that, this is your final look at the team before I end out the video. I thank you guys all once again for watching. Let me know which team you would like me to rebuild next. And apart from that, guys, I will see you guys all in the next one.